I did a horrible mistake. Yet again, I allowed myself to get hyped about the product, done by a AAA company, nonetheless. And this one has to be Prince of Persia, because I thought like there is absolutely no way they can ruin this. It's such a simple formula. All you gotta do is to have a nice side-scroller that's slow, methodical, skill-based, and you have the setting, which is uh, the 1001 Nights theme, uh, you have diversity in it. It's rich with diversity, so they're not going to race switch. They're not going to uh, try to do a fan baiting type of thing. Like it's, it's impossible to mess up. It literally, like, if you give me the IP, I could make the game. I'm already making my own game, but like, if I had this IP, I wouldn't be making my game with Sakubai. I, I would actually make this game instead, and I would make millions of dollars. It's so simple. So uh, I saw the trailer, and let's watch it together. Okay, so they're not going with the classical, slow, methodical gameplay. I'm a little bit bummed out about that, but okay, fine. I guess they're trying to go into a new direction, which is more action-packed than over the top. Our kingdom is cursed. The prince has been kidnapped. What do you mean the prince has been kidnapped? Oh, right, 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 because America and the rest of the Western world is part of a new religion. And it is blasphemy if the princess gets kidnapped. I mean, they burn people at the stake for that uh, crime of storytelling, right? Like, if you make a story about the, the princess getting kidnapped, uh, the banks stop allowing you to have money with them, uh, corporations stop doing business with you, uh, the Democrats will publicly condemn you, uh, you will be pilloried in the marketplace. Like, it, it, it is, like, unthinkable to create a story from the head of a human being where the princess gets kidnapped. You know, but like, that's fine. You know, okay, so the princess doesn't get kidnapped. I don't care. You know, maybe they have some other interesting thing. Like, maybe the prince is going to go on a different type of adventure this time around. Because I understand that uh, modern entertainment cannot have romance at any point, right? Like, if there's a woman on the screen, the man has to be diminished. Uh, they cannot form a couple. It is not allowed. Planned Parenthood would frown upon that sin. So, uh, okay, fine. You know, whatever. What, what is the prince doing instead? Taken to a forbidden land. All hope rests with us, the immortals. Okay, so so it's Prince of Persia, but you're not playing as the prince. Like, I thought that the prince would be kidnapped, and, and you would actually, you know, get taken into that other land, and you try to break free, but no, 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 no. It's called Prince of Persia, but you do not get to play as the prince, because that's what the fans want, right? Like, that's what the customers want, right? Is this what you guys wanted? Is this what you guys wanted when you thought, that, oh, Prince of Persia? What an excellent game. You know why it's amazing? Why? Because I don't get to play as the prince. You know why? what, what I think? I, I think that this is what BlackRock wanted. This is what the Vanguard wanted. This is what Klaus Schwab... This is what Klaus Schwab plays in his free time. Look, I, I heard that uh, Opera gets to play video games. Why can't Klaus Schwab play? He, he probably doesn't like uh, Middle Eastern stories. And he's like, get rid of the prince. Uh, by the way, do you know it's called Orientalism? Like, they have a word for that. It's, it's another blasphemy within the American ideology. So, in order to avoid Orientalism, you push California -nya into the video game. And California -nya is this horrible place on Earth that if you happen to live there, it actually affects your brain. Like, your hair starts to be affected. People call this on the internet the mental illness haircut. It's where, like, your hair starts falling off and, and like half of your head is bald. Like this is the symbol of California. This is how you, you don't need a passport to show that you've been there. Like people just look at your hairstyle and like, oh, you're from California. Um, but okay, so let's recap. Uh, we don't have the prince. We do not have an actual Thousand and One Nights type of tale. We do not get to have like a slow methodical platformer. And instead, we, we have this. Like, what, what else can we get? You know, like, let's, let's get something else that's interesting. Oh, you know what we can get? Hip-hop music.
Yeah, I can't, I can't play any more of that because it's copyrighted. But, um, yeah, I mean, uh, th this definitely makes me think of Prince of Persia. Oh, Dios mio. Why, why is it so hard? You know, like, okay, so you want diversity. You want diversity. You, you, you can't just make a story about the Middle East. I understand. Even though, like, this would have been fine if you didn't add a single white person in the game, right? All you had to do was to keep, like, the Middle Eastern thing, right? Like, just, just do that. Uh, but no, no, we can't do that. Why is it always American culture? You know, like, if if you want to have, like, black people in the game, why, why can't you take some African culture for a change? There are other nations across the world which have a representation of black people. Why is it always America? Every single freaking time it's America. I, I don't understand. Uh, but looking at the game... It may actually be mediocre enough to be playable and good. Like, from what I understand, the, the company which made this has also made other great platformers in the past. So the game itself may be good, but it's not Prince of Persia. This has nothing to do with the game. Like, like why would you... Look, I would understand if you release, like, four or five Prince of Persia titles now, right? And you're like, okay, well, people have gotten a little bit bored... Uh, let's change it up a little bit, you know, let's uh, set the setting in Egypt and, and you would have had like the first Prince of Persia and you create the immortals and you establish who they are and what they do, you know, and their secondary characters and, and now at the fifth installment of the game in order to change things a little bit. You're like, okay, well, what if the prince gets kidnapped, gets taken to Egypt, and now you have all of these immortals going in order to save the prince and we can have, like, hip-hop music and other stuff, you know, whatever. That would have been fine, but, like, you decide to reboot the franchise, remove the prince, add these characters that no one knows or care about, and right now, it's a completely different IP. The only thing that is to do with Prince of Persia is the name, and the fact that you have some traps here which look like spikes. That's it. Like, not nothing else is about Prince of Persia. And it's fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating because um, the way I envision is that game companies no longer care about the consumer at all. Like, as I mentioned, they only care about BlackRock, Vanguard, and they look at the consumer like a pay piggy. They, they come to you in your room like, it's that time, cough up the cash. Cough up the cash, pay piggy. And if you dare to complain, they have an army of little goblins on the internet that are housed in Reset Era, and they go like, Yeah, you're such a racist for talking against Ubisoft! Do you not know who they are? They are Ubisoft! How dare you speak against their creation! It is absolutely perfect! It is sublime! The only reason you criticize it is because you are a race! Now shut up and give them your money! Like, this, this is literally the kind of culture we live in. Uh, and ironically, like, every single game release is the same thing. Assuming that the game will even work on launch. I mean, I, I guess because it's a platformer, I, I dare to assume that it may actually be functioning on the launch date. Uh, but, you know, they can always subvert my expectations. I mean, this is what corporations do nowadays. Instead of making a good product, like, how can we subvert these expectations? I know. Let's market a game, hype it up, and then, then at launch date, we make sure that's a buggy mess and it can't be played. And then we release an apology so that the people at Reset Era go like, well, well, you don't have to apologize to the gamer. Why are you apologizing to the gamer? The gamer is entitled. The gamer just wants and wants and wants. The only thing the gamer needs is to cough up the cash and shut up. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care. And by the way, go watch the Sands of Time Prince of Persia trailer. Just, just so you can see a major difference between whatever this is and what that was. And by the way, it's the same company that made both games.